So recently I created this scene in Blender and I decided to make a video on it because in the process of creating this scene I learned many things and I wanted to share them with you. Keep in mind that it's been only 5 to 6 months since I started learning Blender. So things I tell you today you may have already learned them because I'm just a beginner. If that's the case you can comment down below by telling me if there is any way I can improve this render. You can also point out if I did anything wrong or you can also point out if anything could be done better so that we can all improve and grow. Let's kick things off with basics. Here I just added a plane, scaled it up and went to sculpting tab and made it like this. Why? Because I took these three images from ArtStation and I sculpted the ground according to this image. After completing the ground, I wanted to complete another easy part, that is stealing assets. I went to Blender Kit, installed all these houses and fences and placed them in place accordingly. For fences, I used curve modifier to get them into place. If you don't know how to use it, let's quick tutorial. So this is my stolen fence. Now. Its center point is in this corner. Let's bring it into middle. For that, select your fence, select any object, click G. It is parallel to the x-axis, I click X and bring it into center. Now it is in center, uh, somewhere this way. Now it is in center, click Ctrl A and apply location. Now the yellow point is in center, it's okay now. Now click Shift S, Shift A, go to curve, select path. You can select any of these. I'll personally select path now, scale it up a bit and bring it to uh, center. This, bring this also to center. Go to location, uh, bring this to zero. Okay. Make sure that the object center and path center is same. Now, after this, click on your object, go to modifiers and add curve modifier. Before adding curve modifier and selecting the object, you should also add array modifier because many of these will form a fence so array modifier will multi multiply this go to add modifiers and add array modifier make sure that array, array modifier is on top of curve modifier first array modifier should be there and after the curve modifier should be there now make this x as 0 and y as 1 i will increase this size slightly to be, give gap between them and now select on this uh, icon and click on this curve with that they will follow the path of the curve you can increase the count now it is 2 i will make it as something 10 now if i go to top view and i will click tab on the curve by selecting this point now according to the curve my fence is moving so this is how you use curve modifier to make this uh, multiple items in, like for, for example fence. Hope it helps you. Now let's move on with the video. After that we need to make trees. As a beginner who has never made trees in Blender, I did what everybody will do. After watching so many tutorials, I understood that there are few ways to make trees. First, you can make them manually by sculpting or using procedural nodes or geometry nodes. And another method is you can just steal tree assets from different websites but then you will not get a tree model which you need for the particular scene. So I don't want to do that. And I also don't want to do it manually because it takes a lot of time as I have so many trees in my scene. So I found a add-on called Mtree add-on. It will make your tree making life way easier because you can make trees just by clicking some nodes. At least that's what I heard. Let me try it out. Let me tell you its drawbacks. It will not work for Blender 3.8 and above. So for that I downloaded Blender 2.8 and done tree modeling in that and exported it to Blender 4.1 which I am doing my project on. There are some YouTube videos where people give solutions for making M3, M3 add-on work on Blender 4.1 and above. But for me they didn't work. It seems like a lengthy process. So I directly done it in 2.8 and I appended it to 4.1. And secondly you can make almost any tree using this M3 add-on but I cannot assure you that because I just made these 5 simple models of trees so I don't make any complex trees to tell you you can make any tree using this add-on but for my use case for now it works fine if you want me to test it out and make a youtube tutorial on empty node drop a comment below saying so I will make one so finally for trees I use empty node and now moving on to textures 
protecting this ground, I took three different ground texture assets and I mixed them up with mixed shaders and attached it to the plane. And also, when you use these ground texture assets, don't plug this roughness texture in. Just make the roughness as one. Because when I plug this roughness texture, the ground shine, the ground is shining like this. To avoid that, I just made the roughness as one, and I don't need actually all the actual details anyway. So I just made this as one. And for this part, I made a new image texture and I went into texture painting and I painted a white mask on it so that where the white color is, I'll I'll apply this uh, path texture separately. I'm going to make a new detailed video about this texture painting, how to make this mask and how to apply different textures on the same plane and how to draw your own textures on a object or a model like giving a model bump, metallic look etc. If you want to watch that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And coming to texturing these trees, there is another thing you have to look out for while using M3 add-on. While you are making a tree, make sure that it has all these faces, all this data about the vertices and edges or else the texture will not apply. If you have these single curves like this, like this tree has, the texture will not apply properly and you will not get all the details through it. So make sure that the tree you make has all these faces on it while using M3 add-on. And also I am not giving so much detail to the ground and trees because on ground I will apply grass on top of it so the texture will be covered. And coming to the trees I won't be taking any close up with the trees so I don't need more detail on the tree branches and tree leaves so I will be good with basic textures. But if you want your trees to be more detailed in close up shots and even in wider shots you can watch this video which he explained very clearly how, how by using geometry nodes and uh, base uh, PBR textures. And now Coming to grass, here I just downloaded these grass assets from Pixel Bridge and I imported them into my Blender file and used particle system, weight painting and scattered my grass around uh, according to my scene and this, uh, this is what I made, this is what I scattered. If you want to watch how, how this is made and how you scatter grass, scatter any materials, I, I made a video on it, you can watch it in my YouTube channel, I will link in description or in cards. Now coming to how I made this water, in my scene I took these 3 cubes, this one, this one and this one, I just sculpted over these shapes, you don't need to sculpt them, you can just use the, you can just scale up the cube and use that as it is, don't know why I did that, I just sculpted it and then I used this, I made this node setup from watching different YouTube videos, I wanted to show you how I made this node setup but whenever I shift into render mode and turn on, turn on OBS, my render my blender keeps crashing so i cannot show you how i made this water but i link some uh, videos which i learned from youtube videos which i learned from in the description i particularly watched this particular video which helped me a lot if you want to learn how to make water you can watch these videos i learned from them uh, it will be easy and i in this water block i scattered some uh, water plants to give this uh, make to show some leaves are floating in this water and I also in the back water i scattered some trees just made 2-3 uh, sample trees and scattered them, no need more detail to the trees just scattered some trees so it, my scheme looks uh, denser like it gives depth to it and to give more depth I add this fog how, how I made this fog is I took a cube and scale it up like this and then go to your material tab delete your principal period here and I add this principal volume node connect that to volume and here make the color whatever you want I am making a night scene so I made this color as uh, light blue and density I kept it actually as 0 0.001 because uh, more density more fog I need maximum less density and then change the emission strength to 0 0.003 I don't need more, more emission because I am keeping more mist uh, the buildings are covering with fog I kept everything uh, everything low emission color as same, same color as this one simple just one node uh, change color, density and emission strength, that's it, you will get your fog. And now finally, we just need proper lighting and a moon to finish the light, night scene. For moon, I added a sphere, for that I attached a moon texture and increased it and uh, increased it emission so that moon will glow slightly. And for lighting, I added a sun and uh, made the sunlight in this direction, the light is coming from behind the buildings and added this uh, array li uh, area lights and made them at uh, 600 power, light is at 6000 power, sorry not 600, 6000 power and they are uh, bouncing on these buildings, these roads and this tree. That's a simple lighting setup, 4 area lights, 1 sunlight, 
and that's it with this our scene is completed after doing all that finally this is what we made i think this is good enough uh, it could be better but i don't know how to improve this if you have any suggestions comment it down below how i can improve or if i did anything wrong comment down down below too i can learn from them i also wanted to add some glow like a glow to the moon but when i did when i'm doing that is doing this weird glowing composition i don't know how to do composition properly i'm still learning if i learn that i'll make a video on it too i don't want this glow on this crease i just want to glow on this moon i don't know how to apply that single moon i think i should render this in layers then i can get it i think so i'll learn that if i learn it i'll drop a video for now i don't know how to do that so i think this is my final render thanks for watching see you in the next one